Hello everybody, welcome back to part 9 of my training tutorial on how to sell your product at Clickbank right here setting up your product listing head over to your Clickbank dashboard and then click on vendor settings in the sub menu here my products you will arrive on this page right here to add a new product click right here add new product select a product type so you can sell physical products digital products hybrid and you can actually sell services too even though it's not listed here but you can consider it like a digital product for my example demo product it is a one-time digital product that's the most popular option if you plan to sell your product definitely leave it on as active this is default as active anyways for my example product I'm not actually not selling it so I'm gonna leave it as inactive okay so product category select the appropriate type so mine's an ebook and you can actually select multiple category if you want item number just leave it as default okay product title okay so we got the demo front end main product language English image you can add a new image right here and this little pop-up will show just fill out the information like a name the alternative tag which is basically keywords for this image okay so we got front end image alternative tag affiliate marketing image type you can just leave it as product image and the image itself you can drag and drop or click here to browse and navigate to the image file okay and you might get an error that says the image is too big it needs to be a maximum of 100 by 100 pixels okay we can easily solve that problem head over to your sales page files find your image and open it up with Microsoft Paint or an image editing program that you use okay once you open up your image file in Microsoft Paint click up here resize click on pixels and then uncheck this right here maintain aspect ratio and just do 100 by 100 click OK okay let's save it and make sure you want you want to save it as a new file to not overwrite your original image file okay I'm gonna click X here and then drag my new 100 pixel let's open that okay looks good check here and then click on upload and there it is and now the pitch page URL that's your sales page URL okay so here is my sales page URL let's copy this and if you haven't watched my previous tutorials on how to set up and upload your sales pages you might want to do that before skipping to this part 9 anyways let's head back here and then just paste let's remove this part and then paste in the URL just like that and now you have a mobile pitch page so a mobile version for tablets and cell phones smartphones you can add that here and so this is optional you'll need to put a mobile pitch page okay next part here we have the product price let's do 17 and down here is where the customer can download the digital product and as always I recommend to always have your own thank you page for your customers to download okay so here's my thank you page let's copy this URL and the benefit of having your own thank you page is it looks nicer and you can display more exclusive special offers cross sell or add in more affiliate products to try to sell more products or affiliate products and then you can link to your website have an opt-in form and also have an affiliate uh, link to tell your customers that they can become your affiliates so it's just a whole lot more beneficial to you to have your own thank you page okay so let's paste in the URL here Thank you page and no need for a mobile version just save and exit or you can save and request approval so that's what you want to do is save and request for approval for me this is a demo product so I'm just going to save and exit okay so after saving you can always click to request approval right here under the status 
and then once your product is approved they will send you information to pay the approval fee and you only have to do it one time per account $49.95 and you can sell a limited amount of products upsells downsells and you don't need to pay any more extra approval fees okay so now let's add in the upsell and downsell product you can either click here to add a new product or simply click here to duplicate this product and again you can have as many upsells and downsells as you want so let's fill out this form again same thing so here's my upsell page we copy this and this is my upsell so make sure you name it you don't need to actually name it upsell downsell just name it whatever product title because this will actually be seen by the customer in this example I just want to make it easy to for you guys to see how it works okay make sure you enter in the correct product price and if you want to upload a new image make sure you do that here okay thank you page okay so this is my upsell thank you page now let's paste it in here and then save and exit and now we do it one more time for the downsell okay so my downsell is actually just a discount of five dollars from my upsell let me paste in my new uh, sales page okay and now my thank you page is actually the same thank you page for my upsell and downsell since it's the same product okay save and exit Alrighty, now we have three products main product front end upsell and downsell and that's pretty much it for the setup of your product listing and make sure you uh, submit for approval and in the next step part 10 i'm going to show you how to set up the sales funnel so you can connect everything together and all the buy buttons that's in the next video and okay that's all for this video let me know if you have any questions thanks so much for viewing be sure to subscribe to How to Webmaster for more internet marketing tips, tricks, and tutorial trainings. Thanks again, and happy marketing.